afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Brighton Motorsports Park for race three of the B League. This will be the qualifying session. We've had some new additions, including Redline, Got a Doo Doo, and Police Racer. A quick overview of the current B League season as it stands places Lazy Knight 2 in front, followed by Dallas Dominator with an incredible win from last race. Tied for second place actually is also Batmobile. Batmobile will be trying their best this race to keep within those podium points. The race format will be three laps, starting from a caution start. The cars are getting ready to start here actually very soon. So let's get racing. There have been a few adjustments to the track, including the off-road section to add a little bit more smoothness and a little bit uh, less problems when it comes to the cars going flying off the track on the left hand side if you remember from the A-League race. So that has been improved. There have also been some adjustments to the cars including every car having a slight increase in top speed and through the corners and we're excited to see how that will play out. Right now actually leading off from pack is one of the newcomers Gotta Doo Doo, one of the joking cars actually the only custom car of that caliber and we're actually looking now on board with the police racer a really awesome concept submitted to have police lights the working police lights during the race so we're super excited to see that during the race but as the cars all come around on to the final stretch we will be hitting a green flag very soon and it is up to gotta doo doo and it is a green flag there they go gotta doo doo crosses the line up front gonna have to try to hold it out for the rest of this race a really good start so far for them having a pretty good gap of over a, almost half a second i would say but jellyfish actually closes it down nearly immediately in the rest of the pack it's bk racing the, the dallas dominator ford unicorn no clue I believe that's also the Porsche 962. Actually, all of them getting passed by the Hoonicorn on the outside. A very good move onto the off-road section. Actually, a very smooth entry on the off-road section. And we're excited to see how the cars adjust for that. Up front, though, a pass for first place goes Jellyfish. And also in goes through Police Racer. Also trying to get up there past Got a Doo-Doo. But Got a Doo-Doo actually holds it off really well on the outside of there of that turn. And we will catch back up to them. But for now, we're at Batmobile in second place, or tied for second place in the championship standings. Battling really intensely with five other cars hence the camera changing over to check out what's going on there but back in front now got a do to going out a little bit wide across that turn putting them down into third place and there is prototype 2 drag very fast car from last race nearly getting first place but got passed last second by Dallas Dominator so we're gonna see them come back faster than ever and probably try to get that deserved place back but right now, fighting intensely, actually letting Gotta Doo Doo go, knowing that it's probably not worth fighting and crashing out here, especially this really short race. So it's not really worth having too many crashes because qualifying time and position actually does make a slight difference in the race. Up front, though, a big burst of speed on the off road section. Gotta Doo Doo goes and pulls up in front of the toilet car, doing their best to kind of prove that they're not just a joke and actually holding on. They're handling it very well. I'm excited to see how they fare in this race since this is a very short qualifying round, but the rest of the racers are not giving up. There, we're on board with Kaufmobile the sequel, fighting off with Hoonicorn and No Clue as they all come around the very wide corners of Brighton Motorsports Park. Final turn, it's Jellyfish, Got a Doo Doo, Police Racer, Prototype Drag, and Dallas Dominator. Of course, they're not gonna give up after their excellent start and debut into the B League. As we saw last race, it is now the final lap, so anything that happens here will be permanent for the race. For pole position, it's going to be Gotta Doo Doo for now, as the two cars behind Jellyfish and Police Racer start to fight each other, losing some time around the corners. They might not might have given up on pole position, but actually, maybe not. Here, drafting goes through, goes the Police Racer going to try to get past Gotta Doo to the toilet on the inside, and we are on board with them right now, and they do. Side by side goes the police racer got a doo-doo but jellyfish also stuck their nose up in there trying to make a move there and around the outside goes prototype 2 prototype 2 tries to actually use that outside move that understanding that they've had last race to get in front of the rest of the cars we have a bad camera angle here we're going to need to adjust before the race but around the corner it is still got a doo-doo actually going wide letting police racer go through jellyfish is also going to try to follow them through but got a dude is not giving up oh my goodness how did that finish what happened there we're going to check it out it looks like it is police racer getting pole position by 0.158 in front of jellyfish 
who barely got in front of God of Doodoo. That puts God of Doodoo in third place for the qualifying rounds. And Dallas Dominator in fourth, Coffmobile in fifth. Prototype 2 dropping down to 6 with a, still a great race, less than a second from, or less than 2 seconds from first place. Followed by BK Racing, No Clue, Lazy Knight, Ford Hoonicorn, Batmobile, Red Line, Red Racer, Porsche 962. Wow, what an intense qualifying round. For now, we're going to let the cars cool down. We'll probably make some adjustments to the camera, but next up coming will be the official race here at Brighton Motorsports Park. We will see you then. Welcome back to Brighton Motorsports Park after that very interesting qualifying session. For pole position, we will be having the Police Racer followed by Jellyfish, followed by Gotta Doo Doo. Following them is Dallas Dominator, the race winner from last race, and Coffmobile, the sequel. As the cars get lined up, I believe we still actually have two more positions to fill out the rest of this season. So hop in the Discord to get your spot now. The racers appear to be lined up and ready to go. Police racer has the green flag. We're going to wait for the rest of the cars to get through this turn. Oh, man. This is going to be an intense race because a lot of the marbles are starting to ride on this. Green flag. Police racer gets a good jump. So does No Clue. So does the Ford Hoonicorn and Redline. Oh, the person who does not get a good jump is the Prototype 2. Drag car gets dropped down the order by almost four or five positions. Ford Hoonicorn gets spun out. Spun out there in the back now. The Ford Hoonicorn will have time to recover as they have 10-ish or maybe nine and a half laps left to go. Up front though, got a doo-doo. The iconic toilet from Junker Diesel Turbo is now up in front of the police racer and jellyfish. Where is this control coming from? It looks like it might be from the open-wheeled concept that doesn't quite meet regulations as you can see that most of the car is exposed making it pretty dangerous according to the stock rules here but was an exception for this race up front though that's not yanking every that's not letting everyone else give up because jellyfish is right there as is police racer on either side of gotta doo doo and dallas dominator backing them up the same top four are the same top four from qualifying as you can see there is now a gap between that is lazy night two and red line there over three seconds to the second pack of cars over around the outside actually goes jellyfish an excellent move getting around out of doo-doo as well as dallas dominator also getting past out uh, got a doo-doo as well up fur in the front of the second pack though that is the prototype 2 bk racing and the newly entered red line making their debut into this b league up front though Got a doo doo, starting to drop down the order a little bit. Maybe got too many nerves, maybe had some issues, but Jellyfish, Dallas Dominator, Police Racer, and now No Clue, I believe, are trying to make their way around. And No Clue actually nearly spinning out Police Racer, but does in fact get past that position. Got a doo doo, the toilet dropping down the line. That makes Coffinmobile the sequel, as well as, I believe, Lazy Knight 2 trying to get around them, and they will on the inside of this turn. But in front, though, Dallas Dominator is battling intensely with Jellyfish. Jellyfish was an actual fast racer from last race, however, had a really bad incident towards the end and was not able to recover in time. Dallas Dominator, we all know that they are fast, and it looks like they're going to try to dominate yet again, but Jellyfish does have something to say about it going on the outside of the, out of the dirt track, getting through, getting in front, first place for seven laps left to go police racer their beautiful red and blue lights are not giving up actually as you can see chasing down those two front runners of the pack also in their b league season debut doing a very good job to stay up with the front of the pack cars that we've seen before though no clue lazily night two all fast racers and it seems like this is almost a going to give A-League a jump a run for their money in terms of competition, and we would love to see all of these cars race against each other in a 32-car battle if the computer can handle it. Still, no, not giving up. Got a doo-doo, actually. A very, very dedicated toilet racer. As we get stuck behind this billboard here, we will move the camera, and making their way up into fifth place right now. Doing really well to stay at least with the front pack, but three wide on the off-road section goes Police Racer actually going up at the front, nearly four wide, uh, Police Racer, Jellyfish, 
Jalas Dominator and no clue. That fighting has let the Gotta Doo Doo move their way up into fourth place, actually getting past no clue. And they seem to be stuck or kind of blocking off Lazy Knight 2, BK Racing, and um, I believe that is Coffmobile the sequel. Still, a very massive gap, the red line. I don't know what happened here. It seems like they're fighting with each other and it's not letting anyone catch up. That's gap to. I believe that gap to ninth place being led off by Prototype right now is very hard to surmount with only five laps left to go as they cross the line, or five and some change. But you can actually see them though. As we go in through the chicane, the rest of the pack is catching up, but in the meantime, Gotta Doodoo has dropped down the line, actually nearly getting spun, crossing the line, and now they have to fight again from the back of the pack next to Coffmobile, the sequel. And up front, it's a neck and neck battle between the police racer, Dallas Dominator, actually, who just has a very great straight line speed across that off road section, making Dallas, or excuse me, making Dallas Dominator seem really fast, but police racer is not giving up. And there is Lazy Knight 2. This fastest driver, this actually very, very skilled driver, has been making their way, staying steady, staying consistent, and staying out of trouble as they go through. Police Racer, though, if we're going to speak of staying out of trouble, has seemed to stay out of the most trouble, doing a very good job at getting actually the using the draft and staying and using the cues to get in front when they need it to happen. But Dallas Dominator will not give up as they have been proving for this entire race. Behind them, though, it's Jellyfish, No Clue, BK Racing, and Coffmobile the sequel as they are all neck and neck with each other as they try to sub but settle down getting into the mid section of the race so that nothing crazy happens and we don't have any more incidents as we have seen last time but on board we are on board with i believe the third place lazy knight 2 as they are actually now behind directly behind the police racer right on their rear fender no clue is trying to fight off jellyfish and jellyfish trying to fight off bk racing it looks like a little bit of understeer from the toilet car is making them fall back even more. However, you can see that a gap to Redline and I believe that is Prototype 2 drag. They are fighting with Redline in that gap and then another gap to, I believe, to the Ford Unicorn who is in 11th place. I wonder what's happening back there. Very interesting upcomings, but there it is. Police Racer getting past Dallas Dominator and crossing the line for three and some change laps to go and it's the same top three police racer dallas dominator lazy knight 2 followed by no clue jellyfish got a doo-doo bk racing and coffmobile the sequel however though that's <laughs> oh no a massive incident it seems like one of those cars coffmobile the sequel or bk racing did not like got a doo-doo got a doo-doo lead is ends up sideways against the wall going into the entryway of the off-road section that will put them in the back of the pack behind oh my goodness behind red racer there over 19 seconds back and it's going to be a long battle to get up to the front that leaves the serious cars up in front that's lazy night 2 actually during that commentation i didn't even fail to mention or see lazy night 2 get up in front past dallas dominator no clue jellyfish and the police racer very good move on their part incredible in the back, there's a smaller pack forming between, I believe, the incident cars of BK Racing, Coffmobile, the sequel, and that is making the gap to red line and prototype decrease significantly. Will they be able to do it before the end of this race? We don't know, but it, as it stands, it is. Lazy Knight 2 battling neck and neck, actually too wide, and Max no more, <laughs> getting passed by no clue. Uh, over cross and onto the off-road section. It seems like this off-road section is a lot less unstable than the A-League race as we've seen, which has been leading to a good race so far, but I speak of the devil and a commentator's curse happens. No clue gets spun massively. What happened there? We're going to have to see where they end up along the order, but it looks like they did actually recover. I thought it was going to be over, race over for No Clue, but they actually recovered very well, only dropping back into fourth, battling now with BK Racing. Behind them, dropping down the line a little bit from their pole position, the police racer has now moved their way up into sixth place. Crossing the line, one lap and some change to go. It is Lazy Knight 2, Jellyfish, Dallas Dominator, BK Racing, Coffmobile, Police Racer, Red Line, Prototype, Red Racer, Ford, Hunicorn, Gotta Doo Doo, the Porsche, and Batmobile. Those two cars are over 30 seconds back. Something must have happened in the back there, but they are running their fastest laps of the race. 
Speaking of fastest laps of the race, the God of Doodoo car has just ran their fastest lap of the race and the fastest lap in the race so far of a 58.507. I believe the lap record was a 57, so that wasn't quite the lap record, but the fastest lap in this race so far. Very impressive. Up front, though, nearly going three wide. It's Lazy Knight fighting Dallas Dominator. These cars, as we have seen, are probably going to be the top dogs for this league as these cars are relentless and consistent. Um, incident, though, between BK Racing Coffinmobile and probably Police Racer as well. That caught, lets even a bigger gap go between first and second. Lazy Knight 2 still final lap commanding this lead for the rest of this race. And no clue gets a little bit squirrely on the exit as they try to just get push that limit. But just too much as they lose grip there. Again, strengthening and widening the gap between first, second, and third. Lazy Knight 2 battling Jellyfish, Dallas Dominator, the Police Racer, and BK Racing. Oh no, around the inside goes Jellyfish. Jellyfish doing a very good move to go on the inside, getting past Lazy Knight 2 for first place. Around the corner, last four turns, last three turns now, it's Lazy Knight neck and neck, head and head with Jellyfish. No clue trying to stick their way up in there. Dallas Dominator not giving up, still getting, oh, forcing No Clue to go wide on a mistake there. And now No Clue has to settle back into fifth. Jellyfish, Lazy Knight 2, still neck and neck. And here comes Dallas Dominator doing their signature last minute move, coming to the finish line. It's neck and neck with Lazy Knight 2 getting past Jellyfish 2. Dallas Dominator, BK Racing, finally the red, or excuse me, the police racer will finish it off. Prototype 2 in their battle with Redline, an excellent battle for a finish there, will get them into eighth place. Got a doo doo finishing it up with as well as the Hoonicorn Red Racer, and we are going to still be waiting on Batmobile. Oh my goodness, what an incredible race there! Lazy Knight 2 getting a 0.3 second lead in front of Jellyfish on the last second with Dallas Dominator trying to pull their signature move but could not get it off. That will keep them on the podium though with 15 points. Excellent debut for Police Racer, Red Line, and Got a Doo Doo as Got a Doo Doo has made the fastest lap of a 58.5 red line and police racer uh, also being within the points not the podium but a very good race and beautiful builds for all of them again congratulations to lazy knight 2 jellyfish and dallas dominator for an incredible race shown here today at brighton motorsports park we are now going to check out the season standings after that race to see who is now up front and there it is Lazy Knight 2 dominating a leaderboard with 65 points followed somewhat closely by Dallas Dominator with 40, No Clue with 30, Coffinmobile, Batmobile, BK Racing, Prototype 2, Jellyfish, Porsche, Ford, Red Racer, Police Racer, Red Line, and Gotta Doo Doo. Now actually in all of B League, all of them have points on the board, nobody no longer has zero. Granted, Gratitude only has one so far, but still a great start and debut for these three wonderful racers. Thank you everyone for joining us here for race three of the B League. Coming up next will be a continuation of A League on some new tracks, as well as the start of the Custom League. You've heard it here, folks. There have been enough code, enough changes, and I am now proud to present that the entries for the Custom League will be open. Uh, more information will be, of course, on the Discord. I will be starting a separate channel purely for custom league entries and only custom league entries, so no talking on that. I will set the rules accordingly. However, until then, I hope you guys have a great morning, afternoon, night, or evening, and I will see you next time.